All right, so what do we have here? Alibaba won't let me rest because they released another model. This one, Quen Image Layered. What is this? Apparently, you can separate an image into layers. Pretty obvious, right? So you can separate the background and the subject. You can even separate more things like, for example, uh, the sky, the background, the subject and whatever thing is in the foreground. You can separate text, but why we need this? Well, couldn't we just use the segmentation? Well, this is different because this one, being an image generation model, it can fill out the hole in the background. It can also fill out whatever part is missing. For example, here, this logo was on top and also those lemons were on top and it filled this part of this layer. So you can have the entire images throughout the layers and that makes it very useful to do animation and precise editing. For example, you can move the text and move the objects and do some animations, but also you can edit just a part of the image, just a layer. For example, change the background color here or change this girl into a boy, although this does not look like a boy at all. But anyway, and uh, change the text without changing anything at all of the image. If you were to use just an image editing model, chances are the image editing model will change something in the image alongside with the thing you wanted to edit. So in this case, it will edit only the part you specified, only the layer. This is pretty good and all, but um, how can we run it? Here in Confi UI, it's already available. So what you need to do first is update your Confi UI. If this is not available yet for you, you may want to choose Confi UI nightly version. After that, you're going to need a few models. I'm going to put the links for them in the description below, but you're going to need the actual Quent image layered, text encoder and the VAE, of course. And you need to put the Quent image model into Confi UI folder, models, diffusion models. So put it here. And then of course the text encoders go to text encoders. And then the VAE of course goes to VAE. So after you done that, you just need to run. You can put an image or you can generate an image with the prompt. If you put an image, you may not really need a prompt actually. It should do it right away. But there is just one problem. This is heavy and it's going to be very slow. I tried using the LoRa Lightning, but didn't work. Actually it did work, but the results were crap. I'm gonna leave this node here just in case we have a proper Lightning LoRa model available in the future. But for now, leave it disabled because it just won't work. So keep in mind, they recommend 50 steps and this will take a while to generate, right? For me, it takes, I don't know, something like 12 minutes or something, but it works. I tried the GGUF version models and unfortunately, I couldn't make it look good. You should probably be using the FP8 version instead. I'm gonna leave this workflow in the description, this page, if you wanna see more, and the page for the models. So that's it. Let me know what you think and see ya.